Question six then, from the 2022 Iron Mass paper two, five mark question. You've got an equation for the derivative of some curve, and you've defined the original equation given that it passes through this point here. Express y in terms of x. In other words, what's the equation of this curve? Well, you've got to get back from the derivative to the original. So you differentiate it to get this, so you'll be doing the opposite, which is to integrate. So that means the original one is going to be y equals the integral of this thing here, dx. Now, you need to get that into a suitable form. doesn't matter if you're integrating or differentiating. You need to see those powers so you can move them about. Well, you do. Later on, you don't because you can still work with them in the original form. But for you, you do. So rewrite that as 3x to the negative 2. Now, doing that gets the first mark. Not actually saying the integral yet, just changing that into the form of x to the negative 2, getting it into a suitable form. Now carry out the integration. And there's two marks for this. There'll be one mark for that term, one mark for that term, probably one mark for that term, and the other marks for that term, plus the constant that'll pop out. Well, one will pop back up to x. x to the negative 2 will pop back up to x to the negative 1. Divide by that negative 1. So that makes that a plus 3. But then maybe I'll put it down as because you've probably done this. Although I wouldn't. I would just go in with plus 3. But plus c. So it says... Integrating one of the terms, presumably the more difficult one gets a mark. I'm just going to finish it off here by tidying it up. So that's actually plus, I'm going to put this back the way I found it, 3 over x plus c. So complete the integration. Although you didn't have to put that x back underneath. You could just have left it as x to the negative 1. I just prepared to put things back the way I found them. Now, how are you going to find that c? Well... Here's a point here. I think I'll do it to the side so it doesn't spoil the flow of this. So using the point 3, 6, that says when y is 6, x is 3, x is 3, c, I don't know, but it's the only unknown noun, so I soon will know it. So that means that c is going to be, well, that's just 3 plus 1 is 4. I'll put the working down. 6 minus 4, so c is 2. So substituting that in to find the C is a mark, and the final mark's just for finishing it off. So it must have been x plus 3 over x. They let you off with x to the negative 1, plus 2. There we go. Now that was a very fast five-mark question.